at a certain height a body at rest explodes into two equal fragments with one fragment receiving a horizontal velocity of 10 meter per second the time interval after the explosion for which velocity vectors of the two fragments become perpendicular to each other is a body is at rest at a certain height and after then this body explodes into two equal fragments and one of the fragment get horizontal velocity that is 10 meter per second here there is no external force acting on this body so by using law of conservation of momentum principle total momentum of this body before explosion is equals to total momentum after explosion initially this body is at rest position so initial momentum zero it is divided into two equal fragments m by 2 velocity of the first fragment let it be u1 plus second fragment m by 2 and velocity v2 so by using this m by 2 u1 is equals to minus m by 2 u2 on both sides mass get cancelled u1 is equals to minus u2 that means the two fragments get the same horizontal velocity but moving in opposite directions so first fragment moving along this direction with initial velocity 10 meter per second at the same time second fragment also moving with the same velocity but in opposite direction we know the path followed by the horizontal projectile is a parabola here we have to find out the time interval after the explosion for which the velocity vectors of the two fragments becomes to perpendicular let us take two points instantaneous velocity of the first fragment at this point let it be v1 and here v2 the component of velocities horizontal velocity vx and vertical velocity vy here also vx dash and vy dash there is no external force along the horizontal direction so velocity along the horizontal direction remains constant but a gravitational force is acting along y direction so acceleration due to gravity is acting on the body so vertical velocity changes velocity vector at this point v1 bar is equals to vx i cap plus vy j cap here vx is equals to u that is equals to 10 meter per second only so we want vy to find out vy take the equation of motion initially there is no vertical velocity at this point uy is equals to 0 here also uy is equals to 0 so okay now vy is equals to minus gt then v1 bar is equals to here horizontal velocity is acting along the negative x direction so minus u i cap minus gt j cap now v2 bar is equals to v x dash i cap plus v y dash j cap v y is equals to u y minus g t v2 bar is equals to u2 i cap minus g t j cap these two vectors perpendicular to each other so v1 bar dot v2 bar is equals to minus u1 i cap minus g t j cap dot u2 i cap minus g t j cap dot product of v1 and v2 becomes to zero minus u1 into u2 and minus of minus plus g square 
t square. Why? Because we know i dot i is equals to 1 and the j dot j is equals to 1. And from this, g square t square is equals to u1 u2 and t square is equals to u1 u2 by g square. From this t is equals to square root of u1 u2 by g. This is the formula to find out the time interval after which the two velocity vectors perpendicular to each other. Here we know u1, u2 and g. Then time is equals to square root of 10 into 10 by take g value 10 meter per second square. Square root of 100 is equals to 10. So 10 by 10 is equals to 1 second. So after 1 second, the velocity vectors of the two fragments become perpendicular. First option is correct. 